Hello! Hello library friends! Welcome to Virtual Lab Time. Today we are going to be creating raised salt paintings. Oh, like this. I like this project because it's bright and colorful and uses things we usually find around the house. You'll need some supplies to get started such as glue. Hopefully you have glue still around the house. You'll need some table salt, food coloring, and water. You'll also want some paper to create your paintings on. So you can use printer paper, like you can use cardstock, you can oh, use different colors. If you have black cardstock, that would be pretty cool. So try that. You can also use grocery bags, art paper, um, recycled envelopes, and cardboard. You can paint with liquid watercolors if you have them. Like these are what my liquid watercolors look like. You know, and usually I put them in a, in a little cup like this. You can also use pan watercolors like these if you have some. So what you want to do is you'll pour a little bit of water or if you have a spray bottle um, you can spray a little bit so it pools right on top and you'll see that later in my video. Another option is to make your own from old dried up markers if you have them. So you can see that I let the markers sit in a little bit of water and these are, have been sitting overnight and for most of the day and you just put the tip down in the water. And I would suggest letting these sit longer to get more of the color out. I also suggest using food color. So food color is really great to make your own watercolors. I really like doing this. All you need are a few drops and you can either use like lids from, from bottles. So like these lids here are great. You can put just a few drops of three or four drops and a little bit of water. So something either a small paint holder like I have here or in these lids and you'll get a really nice color and it'll go pretty far and you'll see that in a few minutes when I do a demo. Couple things to keep in mind when you're working with glue and salt you're going to want to let your project dry for a while. I suggest at least 24 hours and some of the salt will fall off your project and that's natural. A lot of the salt will be sitting on top of the glue. So this is an example. So this is on um, printer paper and I actually printed off a narwhal and then I put my glue on top and then painted it and you can see a little bit of that salt is falling off and it gets a little wrinkly so thinner paper gets um, more wrinkly and it will loosen up the salt so when you pick your paper you can do different designs you can draw pictures write words make doodles make designs I like to use tape um, rolls to trace designs and I did this one on a paper grocery bag you can see here and I just tr put down the tape roll and traced it several times. You can draw your own designs and doodles like I have this flower in a heart. You can use like I said recycled envelopes, dry more hearts. Once you have your glue design made and you sprinkle your salt you're ready to paint. So you want to get your brushes out and you can use any types of brushes that you have and you just dip brush into the paint and then you lightly touch it to the salt. You just want to touch it right on the top and so watch my demo in a few minutes and then you'll see that. It's a little different um, from painting normally where you just kind of push it around on the paper. This you're lightly tapping to the top and it's going to spread on its own. It's kind of like magic. It's really fun to watch and I love seeing it just spread along. So, and you'll see that magic happen. It's a lot of fun. I also did a little demo here so you can see the different colors that come from the markers. So these are, they're a little bit lighter. This is from the food coloring. So that's just food coloring and water. This is from the pan water colors. And this is from the liquid water colors. So no matter what you're using, you're going to have different options to paint with. I hope that you'll have fun trying this and share pictures of what you created with me. Have fun. Until next time. Bye.